If you use any of our products in the past, you may have been become familiar with something called the attributes panel. We have pretty much condensed some of those attribute things from the attributes panel to be a little cleaner and offset some of those controls over directly into the channel playlist. So for example, things like duration, next layer, and delays all have been located now into the channel themselves, into the layers themselves from the channel. So for example, if I wanted to customize the duration of this first graphic on my playlist to last a total of five seconds, we now see that we have customized the duration of this first graphic to play out for only five seconds. Playing it out from my actual playlist will then play that for a short period and then dismiss it on its own. Then customizing the duration reveals another property that we can we can pretty much set to this particular graphic layer. We can assign something to play immediately after that graphic is done playing on its own. We can then assign lower third, the simple lower third below that to play automatically after this graphic has um, pretty much retired its duration. We get that play in and then the automatic play in for the next graphic. Then we, if we really wanted to, we can also add a delay for this graphic. So for example, if I wanted a five second delay to be added between the first graphic playing onto the second graphic, we have those controls exposed to us in a more logical um, position in our software, which would be next to the layer under our playout interface. So something a little bit cleaner in terms of if users in the past struggled finding this or just found it a little inconvenient where it was positioned in the past, we have it in a better location in the interface from the channels, um, from the layer, uh, the layers workspace. Now, since we've um, offset those controls over directly into the channel, we now have what most people would refer to what the things that we manually update for our graphic living here under live data. So if I want to start customizing this lower third manually, I can start editing these fields. I can put my first and last name as my uh, name header, and we can put new blue webinar for our subtext. And we can see that it renders out these changes. This is also something that there's a little enter here. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that so we don't have a conflict of interest for the company name there. And we can see that it is rendering out those changes live and not live onto my graphic yet, but just onto, onto my preview. So then playing that out on from my channel will then play out that graphic. We can see here my graphic is playing with the updates that I've done to it. And then as we saw, the other graphic plays automatically because it's still going on duration, but we can go ahead and disable that for now. We can set that to be zero seconds so we can then set it to be an unlimited duration. Do note that resetting it to be no duration will also get rid of the additional properties of next layer and delay. So we can see that everything that, in, that was enabled to be a parameter with a graphic will be customizable from the layer properties under live data. If you want to build your own graphics and have these attributes be visible and customizable from the playout interface. It's something known as a variable that we have to enable from the designer. But that is something I'll discuss later in a later portion of the demonstration, but good to keep in mind in case you're kind of waiting for that to come up um, as, a, as a thing that you can, you know, as an instruction that you're waiting for to learn more about this particular function. The other thing that we decided to do is sometimes people don't want to be manually updating lower thirds every time they have to change the information for that lower third. Or one thing that we have that we have available still in Tire Life 5 and have had before in Tire Life 4 is the ability to connect spreadsheets directly into a graphic. So that, for example, if you don't want to duplicate reduplicate a certain lower third or have to re-export a bunch of different uh, lower thirds so that you have the same lower third represent 10 different names. You can simply build that out through a spreadsheet or one new feature that we added in Tire Life 5 is using multi-entry to build out lower uh, numerous versions of the same lower third. So let's say, for example, I wanted to have two different lower thirds that are part of this one single lower third. I can add Sean's name, first and last name here. I can add, um, I can say guest for now, even though he's a panelist, well, <laughs> guest is a little shorter than panelist, so I'll save some keystrokes there. We now have two different lines of, or two different rows for my, for my lower third that I can operate from. So in the preview panel, we can quickly kind of click through these and see that I can preview my two different instances of this lower third. Now, if I play this graphic live, we can then see, actually, I'm going to remove channel two so we can get a full preview of that of that graphic through channel one, since I am screen sharing. So we'll go ahead and play that again. There's my first and last name. And now we go to line two to show Sean Wilmon. 
then we will see that it'll automatically show the second line with, with animations and everything. However, an alternative workflow is, let's say, for example, we wanted to queue my name, play that live, and then it lives on screen for the time, designated time or whatever desired time that we needed to be on screen, play that off, and then navigate to our second instance. It's ready on the back end, and then we simply play it on. So there's two different things that you can do in terms of playing back and updating these graphics so that you have a new instance ready. Additionally, you can build this and multi-entry as long as you need it to be. So you can build out 20 entries of lower thirds or any other type of graphic to then be represented in this little interface that you then have access to to push as a live update for your graphic. One thing that you might have noticed is that this multi-entry is also referencing these variables, name and message, to give us different columns to then access to build out that information. Color and gradient could be on here, but aren't because if there's another thing in the back end in terms of the designer, if they were allowed to update while live. And we'll see this being demonstrated in the designer portion of the demo.